Hi, I'm Chris Hogg. What's your name? Evan. Nice to meet you. I hear you have a couple questions for me today. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get going. Um, when did you start playing hockey? Uh, I started playing hockey, I believe, uh, uh, it was maybe four or five, I think I started playing organized hockey. When I was three, I started skating. I was in preschool. And my preschool was actually in the hockey rink in my hometown, so I was able to go and skate every day I went to preschool. So that's when I started skating, and then organized hockey was about four or five, I believe. What teams have you played for? I've played, uh, well, I grew up in a small town called Sycamus, so I played all my minor hockey uh, in Sycamus. And then when I was 16, I made the Western Hockey League and played for the Kamloops Blazers. So I played there for three years, and then when I was 18, I got traded to another team in that league, which is called the Lethbridge Hurricanes. So I went there for two years, and then at the end of that year, I ended up going to the East Coast Hockey League, which is in the USA, and played for the Phoenix Roadrunners. And then after that, went to play college for four years up in Lakehead University, which is in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Last year I was in Missouri playing for the Missouri Mavericks of the Central Hockey League, which is in uh, Kansas City. And then of course this year I'm in Fife playing for the Flyers. So that's, I mean, I was playing on, uh, on team since I was 16. So I've been through quite a few teams, but uh, it's been good so far. What well, made you come to the Fife Flyers? Uh, you know, I've heard a lot about this league. I have uh, friends that have played on uh, teams in this league, and it just seemed like a good fit this year. Obviously, I want to uh, experience uh, Europe and, uh, you know, play in a place that I haven't played before. Obviously, talking to uh, Danny Stewart this summer, it, uh, it just seemed like a right fit, and I kind of wanted to go overseas and, and, and see, see the world, I guess. Do you like the Hoggy 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 Chan? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty fun chant. Uh, it's fun to hear after uh, after I get a point or score a goal or something like that. It seems uh, it's catching on in this rink, and sometimes I hear it in away rinks as well. So it's it's kind of cool to hear. What was your favorite player growing up, and which NHL team do you support? Uh, my favorite NHL player. I mean, uh, back in the day, I am from British Columbia and the Vancouver Canucks, that's the home province team, so I have to say I'm a Vancouver Canucks fan. Um, back in the day, they had a couple good players, uh, Pavel Bure for one, a small, fast guy, and they had Trevor Lind, and I actually have a Trevor Linden jersey back home. Uh, he was the captain of the team, just kind of a heart and soul guy, and uh, kind of a guy that I looked up to as well. Um, also, Joe Sackick on the Colorado Avalanche. I always watched him growing up as well. I kind of like the older players that aren't aren't playing anymore. The new new age players are kind of my age, so it's kind of hard to look up to those guys. What is the best thing about being a Fife Flyers player? I think it's uh, playing at home in this uh, in this arena. Obviously, you see uh, some games this year. We've uh, packed the arena pretty good, and we put out a good performance almost every game. It seems. Uh, you know the fans have been behind this team for 75 years and uh, it's it's kind of nice to go out there and, and have good fan support and uh, play in front of people that are very passionate about this team. What is the least favorite thing you, you like about hockey? Uh, I don't know that's that's a very uh, good question actually. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there is a thing. I guess maybe the uh, road trips, I'd have to say. I mean, uh, I know this weekend we play Sunday in Cardiff and we have to leave at about 6 in the morning just to get there uh, on time for the game. It's about a nine-hour drive on the day of the game. So it takes a little bit to get uh, get your legs into a game after you've been on a bus all day. So I'd have to say probably the bus trips. What do you th what did you think when you first walked into a rink? Obviously, uh, I've played in a lot of old rinks, but uh, I don't know if I've played in one that uh, is quite this old. It obviously has a lot of history. And, um, you know, it's the one thing I noticed right away, too, is how big the ice surface is. I think it's uh, it's definitely a little bit bigger than Olympic-size ice surface, and I, it it's, it's, uh, took a while to get used to, obviously. Uh, I have to get... Uh, 
used to skating a, skating a bigger distance. Obviously, in North America, the rinks are a little bit smaller, but uh, I notice it's definitely a, a big ice surface, and uh, the, the fans can really get behind you because the seats are just right behind the bench there. What was it like getting drafted to the Calgary Flames? Uh, it was a it was a good day. I uh, I was actually in uh, the draft was in Carolina that year, so I uh, my agent flew me down to Carolina to go to the draft, and ended up getting drafted to obviously a Canadian team as well. So that was exciting as well. Um, it was a good day. It was one of my uh, one of my favorite days as a as a hockey player. I guess it shows all the accomplishments that uh, and all the hard work that you put in uh, paid off. Um, I mean, it, it was a good day. I had my parents there and everything like that. Uh, it was definitely uh, very, very exciting. Who is the best player you've played with and against? Uh, best player I've played with on the same team, I would have to say probably Scotty Upshaw. He plays for the Florida Panthers of the NHL right now. He was drafted uh, in the first round, I think sixth or seventh overall. So he was, when I was my first year, when I was 16, he was 19. So it was definitely an honor to play with him. He was captain of the Canada World Junior Team that year too. He was definitely a very uh, skilled player. And what was the, the end of that question there? And who you, and who's the best player you've gone against? Uh, the best player I've gone against, I mean, when I played in the Western Hockey League, there was uh, so many good players. I played against uh, Brent Seabrook, who's a D-man for Chicago Blackhawks. I played against uh, Duncan Keith, who's another D-man. I played against Cam Ward, who's a goalie. I played against Dion Phaneuf. I played against Ryan Getzlaff, Andrew Ladd. Um, who else is in there? Shea Weber, I played against, who plays on Kelowna Rockets. Um, I played against so many uh, really good, really talented players in that league. Uh, I can't really put put a name on it, but Dion Phaneuf probably was one of the uh, the best players I played against. I, I remember we went up to Red Deer to play him, and I think we lost 8-1 that game, and he had about 40 shots on goal. So that was definitely a, <laughs> definitely a low point there. What is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie would probably have to be uh, Hot Rod. It's uh, I don't know if a lot of people have seen that movie, but it stars uh, Andy Sandberg and he's on SNL. He's, he's one of my favorite actors. If you didn't play hockey, what would you do? Uh, that's a good question as well. Uh, I already have my I have a degree in human resources, which is a business degree, but uh, I think I just did that because I was in school and I had to get something. But uh, it's hard to say, maybe a firefighter, maybe a police officer. It's uh, Right now, I, I really have no idea what I would be doing. Uh, I like to stay active, I like to stay fit, so maybe a trainer as well. But, uh, I mean, I, I've been playing hockey my whole life, so I haven't really uh, given that much thought. What do you do to relax? Ah, uh, well, me and uh, Caribou watch a lot of movies. I uh, room, My roommate here is Zach Caribou, and... Uh, you know, we sit down, we watch a lot of movies. We, uh, we're pretty entertained by uh, the X Factor USA this year. Kind of every Thursday and Friday, we're uh, glued to the television set for that. But uh, I mean, just like everybody else here, we like to, uh, to travel to see the sights, um, go to movies, um, stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's pretty much what, uh, what a lot of other people do. I know, uh, on the team as well, we've been practicing a little bit of curling as well because they got the curling ice in during the day. So we like to like to go out and enjoy that as well. Have you tried any Scottish things like haggis and dime glue or even a kelt? I don't know what the second thing you said was, but uh, haggis I have tried. Uh, we had a kind of a team dinner at the start of the year at the Bay Hotel, and uh, they had uh, I guess haggis. Uh, I don't know how it's how it's made or whatever, but I took a bite of it. I, I couldn't really get over the fact of what it was, but uh, it actually didn't taste too bad, uh, to be honest with you. It had a little dip in sauce with it or something, but uh, it, it wasn't too, too bad, but I haven't tried it since, so I heard you have to have to try it homemade, I guess. What music do you listen to? Uh, I listen to a lot of country music, obviously, from Western Canada. There's a lot of cowboys, a lot of farmers out that way, so... I throw my iPod on in the dressing room every now and then and try to get the country music, try to get all these guys from uh, Scotland to uh, enjoy some country music. What is your favorite food? Favorite food would probably have to be uh, chicken fingers, I'd have to say. 
What is your favorite drink? Uh, my favorite drink, uh, that's that's a good one as well. I, I don't drink a lot of pop or, or fruit juices or anything like that, but uh, maybe Powerade, maybe uh, tea. I enjoy I enjoy a tea, one or two teas every day. So you know, I've, I've become pretty accustomed to having a having a cup of tea. What is your favorite sport outside hockey? I would have to say probably Canadian Football League. Um, it's not uh, f not football has in soccer, but uh, football has in like throwing the football like that. Uh, it's a I mean a lot of people watch the NFL, which is uh, American, but I enjoy the CFL. It's uh, Canadian players and uh, it's a great league. Tell me about your hometown. Is there anything like Kokodi? Uh, Kirkati is definitely a lot bigger than my hometown. My hometown um, is situated, it's, it, I guess it is a little bit like it. Uh, it's only 2,000 people though, so it's a very small town. It is situated on, uh, on a lake, which is close. You guys are on the uh, Firth of Forth, I believe is what it's called. Um, but uh, it uh, doesn't uh, get as much rain as, as here as well, but um, it's just a very small town um, with a couple streets, uh, one grocery store, um, you know, it's, it's just a very, very small town. Um, that's about all I can say about it. It's, uh, there's not a lot going on in the winters. It's pretty quiet in the summers. It's kind of, uh, it's on a lake. So there's a lot of tourists come and, and stay at cabins and go boating on the lake and that. So. Do you understand our Scottish accents? Ah, sometimes I do. I mean, uh, here in Kirkcaldy, I, I do understand. I think I picked up on it a little bit, but, uh, Going to other places in Scotland's a little bit tougher. Uh, I know uh, when John Dolan comes to practice, it's definitely hard to understand him. He's always uh, chatting away in that, and it's kind of hard to understand the Dundee one. Uh, Glasgow has a different one as well, but uh, the one here in Kirkcaldy, I've kind of picked up on a little bit. But uh, sometimes I have to ask twice to uh, to hear exactly what the sentence was. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Um, I do have a little present for you here. I got a game used hockey stick for you, signed down in the bottom for you there. It's a little bit big for you right now, but you might be able to grow into it one day. So I want to present that to you and uh, thank you very much for your questions and thanks for supporting the Fife Flyers. You one of these as well. It's a picture of me. That's an intense game face there too. Thank you. Perfect. No problem, buddy.